Hi, uh, my name is Luis Berrocal, and I'm going to be talking to you today about how to use uh, Django 1.4 with Eclipse. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to cover how to configure uh, Eclipse to work with Django on, on a virtual environment. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at, at Luis C. Berrocal, and my blog is tecnofuenteabierta.blogspot.com. Now, the, to follow this tutorial, it's required that you already have installed Eclipse Indigo 3.72 and you also require the Aptana Studio 3 plugin. Uh, you also require to have uh, Python 2.6 or better. Uh, actually, just 2.x. You could have 2.7, but you, uh, the, the tutorial does not cover 3, version 3 of Python. Uh, you also require easy install. In order to do the installations, we're going to see. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install a couple of libraries. We're going to install pip, which is an installation library, yolk, which lets me know what I have installed, and virtual environment, which lets me uh, separate my, my, my Python environments uh, into virtual environments. So let's take a look at how we do that. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open uh, a terminal window. And on our terminal window, we're going to type uh, sudo easy install pip. And we're going to type our password. Uh, okay, okay, that's not my password, I forgot. Okay. There we go. Should work. Now it's downloading uh, pip and installing it. Now, now we have pip installed. Now we've installed yolk using pip. We type pip. Stop, sorry, sudo pip install yolk. Yolk is a pretty neat uh, library that lets you know what you have installed and, and you know, figure out ways to know uh, what dependencies you have uh, for your project. Now, it seems to have installed it correctly. Uh, these warnings I always get, but they always seem to work fine. So let's type uh, Yolk minus L. Oops. It gives you a very, very long list of all of all the libraries we have installed. And we have a lot of things installed here. As you can see, um, I have set up tools. Uh, wow, I have a lot of things installed here. Things I didn't, didn't know I had. As you can see, I already had Django installed, but we're going to reinstall it in a virtual environment. Uh, I don't seem to have uh, MySQL DB, but we're still going to install it just in a virtual environment. So let's install virtual environment pip. We do again sudo sudo install. No, I'm sorry, sudo pip install virtual and. Was installed correctly. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start configuring our virtual our virtual environment. Now, to configure our virtual environment, the first thing we have to do is we're, we're going to create a directory or a folder to have all our virtual directories uh, in one place. So, first thing we're going to create a uh, folder. We use mk there. We call it. We're going to call it virtual underscore environments. You can call it uh, whatever you feel like it. Uh, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a virtual virtual 
type virtual end and we're going to type uh, the name of our of our virtual environment uh, which is going to be uh, Django underscore one four oh, actually we have to put it inside our virtual environment uh, folder and use Django one four eclipse And we're going to give it no site packages. So it will not share the site packages with our main Python installation. I'm going to click enter. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to type uh, Python in front, actually. No, actually, I had to type virtual environment. Now, as you can see, we have installed it has installed for us the setup tools and the pip tools for the virtual environment. Now to activate the virtual environment, what we have to do is we have to type uh, source slash uh, dot, sorry, dot virtual environment. And we have to go inside our virtual environment into the bin folder and activate. Now, as you can see, once I have activated, it shows the name of the virtual environment uh, here. Now, what we're going to do now, once it's activated, everything we install is going to be installed in our virtual environment. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install Yolk to see what we currently have. I'm sorry, pip install Yolk. A bit clumsy today. So it's downloading it. Now we're going to type yolk uh, dash l, which is going to list everything we have installed in this virtual environment. As you can see, there are a lot of less things than in the previous uh, time I, I run yolk. Now we're going to uh, install Django. Install Django. And now let's run a yolk minus L. And as you can see, we have Django 1.4. Now, there's no pip installation for MySQL DB um, um, libraries, so we're going to have to do, download it. Uh, actually, I've already downloaded it, but I just want you to, to see where we have to download it from. You go to Fortunate, and you download it from here. It's version uh, 1.2.3. You untar this, and I've already done this. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to run uh, the installation. You have to run from inside the installation folder to set up. So I'm going to download to my SQL. And uh, now we're here, now we're going to run Python on setup.py build. And we're going to use sudo just to make sure that it's going to work. And okay. it built appropriately. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to run the install. And run sudo python setup.py install. And it's installed. Now uh, let's run yolk and see if it works. Yolk that L. Okay, as so you can see now, we have our MySQL here uh, and uh, Django, and we have everything we need. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start configuring Eclipse in order for it to see this uh, virtual environment. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open Eclipse, and we're going to configure our Python interpreter for it to use uh, 
the Python virtual environment we just created. So we go here to um, Eclipse, Preferences. We look into the Python folder, Interpreted Python. We already have set one up, which is our original Python installation. We're going to create a new interpreter. We can, we're going to call it the Python 2.7 Django 1.4 and we're going to select um, the executable in our virtual environment. We're going to select this one, Python 0.7 and we're going to click on OK and we're going to click on OK and we get this message what this means is you gotta select one of the one of the uh, libraries from uh, the original installation for this to for, for PyDev to work properly. So we're gonna reselect the folders and we're going to select uh, this folder that reads lib Python 2.7. I click on OK and now you don't get the message. Now it's working. I'm going to click on OK. It's updating the. Now let's try and create our first uh, Django project. Uh, you go here, File, New, Other. I'm going to type Django. Okay, our first Django project, we're going to call it. Uh, My first Django. Uh, I'm going to select uh, it's 2.7 grammar, and we're going to select and uh, this interpreter, the one we just created. I'm going to click on Next, and uh, there's no reference page. Next, we're going to select the database. For now, we're going to keep it with SQLite, uh, just to show you it works. Now what it just have done for us, it has created our project. Now we have our WSGI URLs, settings, and manage. And now uh, we're ready to start uh, creating our first project.